Hello and welcome to this lecture in which you will learn how to reverse a doubly linked list. Let's take an example of a doubly linked list with four nodes. We have the head node with the data 2, the next of 2 pointing to 13, the next of 13 pointing to 10, the next of 10 pointing to 20. And we have the previous of 2 pointing to none and the next of 20 pointing to none which marks the beginning and the end of the list respectively. Now let's reverse this doubly linked list. When we reverse this doubly linked list, this is how our end result will look like. The order of the nodes will be reversed. Now in our existing list, 20 is the last node, but in our end result, 20 is the first node which is our head node. Similarly, our existing head node which is the node with the data 2 becomes the last node in our end result. So let's see how to reverse this doubly linked list. But before we proceed further, I suggest that you pause this video, take a sheet of paper and pen and figure out what the logic for this problem might look like. Don't write any piece of code, just try to figure out the logic. Alright, let's continue. I hope you have been able to come up with a solution and if you have been able to come up with a solution, then congratulations. Now let's see if your solution matches with mine or if you have a better solution. Now in case you haven't been able to come up with a solution, then no problem, just follow along with me. Let's take the head node, the node with the data too. Now if you look at this node in our end result, you will see that the next of 2 points to none and the previous of 2 points to 13. But in our existing list, the next of 2 points to 13 and the previous of 2 points to none. Which means the pointers are interchanged. What points to the next of 2 in the existing list points to the previous of 2 in the reversed list and what points to the previous of 2 in the existing list points to the next of 2 in the reversed list. So if we swap the next and previous pointers in our existing list, we arrive at a solution to this problem. Let's swap the pointers. Now before we remove the connection between next of 2 to 13, let's save the address of 13 in a temporary node. And then we remove the connection from next of 2 to 13 and make this next point to the previous of 2. And then we remove the connection from previous of 2 to none and make this point to the temporary node which we had saved. Now if you look, the previous of 2 points to 13 and the next of 2 points to none which is same as that in our reverse list. So we can now mark this node as complete. Now let's take the next node, the node with the data 13. Now let's see this node in our end result. You will see that the next of 13 points to 2 and the previous of 13 pointing to 10. Now this is same as we had seen earlier. In our existing list, the next of 13 points to 10 and the previous of 13 points to 2. So let's swap these pointers as well. But before that, let's save 10 in a temporary node and then we remove the connection from 13 to 10 and establish the next as the previous of 13. We remove the connection from previous of 13 and establish that with 10. So now we have the previous of 13 pointing to 10 and the next of 13 pointing to 2 which is same as that in the reverse list. So now we can mark this node as complete as well. Now let's move on to the next node, the node with the data 10. Now if you see node in the reverse list, the next of 10 points to 13 and the previous of 10 points to 20. Now let's swap the nodes in our existing list. So we remove the connection from 10 to 20. We establish this connection from next to previous of 10. We remove the connection from the previous of 10 and establish as the next of 10. Now if you see the previous of 10 points to 20 and the next of 10 points to 13. Now let's mark this node as complete and move on to the next node which is the node with the data 20 and that's our final node. So now when you see this node in our end result, the next of 20 points to 10 and the previous of 20 points to none. So now let's swap the nodes. We remove that from none and we make that point to the previous of 20 and we remove the previous pointer and make that point to none. So now in our existing list, we remove 2 as the head node and we mark 20 as the head node. So now we have the previous of 20 pointing to none and the next of 20 pointing to 10. And that completes our reversal and we have our end result with 20 as the head node and 2 as our last node. So that's the end of this lecture. I'll see you in the next lecture where we write a program in Python for this problem. But before moving on, try giving an attempt at arriving at the solution yourself. And if you have a better solution, do post them in the discussion board so we could exchange knowledge. Thank you.